Hey everybody, it's Karen. How are you? I only have a few minutes this morning. I've got to go get a COVID test this morning. Ugh. Let's see if I can find a place to sit. I wanted to read today cur today's Courage to Change. Boy, I'm in a horrible sunny spot. <clears throat> oh well, you can hear me, right? You know what I look like. <laughs> July 3rd. Normally, our group welcomes newcomers in a particular way. We share what Al-Anon has done for us introduce our literature and offer a few Al-Anon sl slogans before getting on with the meeting. No one ever took a group conscience about this procedure. It's just the way we've done it for some time. One evening, the chairperson departed from the usual procedure. I complete for completely forgot why I was at the meeting and spent the rest of the evening worrying about the newcomers. They weren't hearing what they were supposed to hear. Would they be all right? Would they come back? At the very end of the meeting, one of the newcomers timidly spoke up. I was on the edge of my seat with concern until he said how grateful he was to have heard the words the chairperson spoke because they were exactly what he needed to hear. <clears throat> Once again, I was reminded that God works through our groups to make sure that we all get what we need. I certainly got what I needed that night. Today's reminder, I do not know what is best for other people. <laughs> Today, I'll remember that newcomers and everyone else are in the hands of a power greater than myself. Hey, Carol, good morning. Um, I love that reading. You know, <laughs> I get stuck in that too. I think things should be a certain way. And if they're not, something's going to go wrong. And, uh, you know, everything is exactly the way it's supposed to be in this moment. Everybody's getting what they need. I don't have to be in charge. There's a, there's a saying in, I'll post it, there's a little saying in our, in our group about playing dead and uh, about not reacting and not responding, right? If something's happening, something's going down, it'd be going down if I was there or not, right? Unless I'm in it, right? Unless I'm involved, I should not be involved. So especially this holiday weekend, it's a really good reminder. Why don't you guys use that little term, um, play dead this weekend you know if things get out of hand people drink on the fourth of july it's different this year because we can't have fireworks at least in california um you know we're things are getting worse here with the with the virus uh, i think because of the the protests that we had um in, especially in la and those people are coming to palm springs so all of a sudden it's all shot up again and everything's getting locked down so it's a it's a difficult time and the governor said no no fireworks so people are going to drink more they're going to stay at home and drink and there's going to be all kinds of things going on good and bad so just keep your head down right just keep your head watch the show don't be the show just take it easy you know god's got everything exactly the way it's supposed to be have a little faith everyone's going to get just what they need at the meetings on zoom Wherever it is, if you are just trying to add to the stream of life and you're taking care of yourself, everything is going to be okay. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad, Carol. I like that. Hey, how is everybody? G Burns, 33. Uh, roses, flowers, too. All my friends are on here this morning. Nice. Be safe this weekend. Everyone take care of yourself. Okay? It's a... It's a... It's a weird adventure we're on right now. Like, we're making history. So, uh, you know, just, just stay in your hula hoop. Keep your head down. Take it easy. Everything's just the way it's supposed to be. Trust God. Bye, guys.